Hello and welcome to the Auto Digest here on Local TV 99. I'm James Wyatt. Thanks for joining us on the program today. And as usual, we are here at Precision Automotive and Transmission with James McNeil. Good to see you again, sir. James, nice having you today. Of course, James is our ASC certified master technician. And uh, for those of you that have been into Precision Automotive and Transmission, you'll recognize where we're at. We're here next to the wall of recognition, which basically is just one document after another, another that basically has uh, all the different things that you guys do, not only yourself, but the other guys within your right. program here mm -hmm. that, uh, well, just uh, keep folks uh, moving down the road because you're constantly uh, educating, re-educating, mm -hmm. and getting the very latest information so you can make sure that your customers uh, are getting the most uh, cost-effective and most efficient uh, experience when they come here to Precision Automotive and Transmission. That's right, and also uh, we're the only AAA certified facility in Paris, and so AAA comes by. They do check our ASC certifications, and we have to have a you know, if we're going to work on diesels, we have to have a certified technician for diesels. Whatever category we're working on here, AAA requires us to have a certificate. Now, the state of Texas doesn't, but AAA does. Okay. And so, but we, we do try to keep up on what's going on. Well, I know this wall is constantly expanding. I come in here every once in a while and they've rearranged things because you've gotten two or three new certificates and you yeah, can't, it, it, it's going to be under the floor here before very long. <laughs> so come in and check that out sometime here at Precision Automotive and Transmission. I'm sure you'll be impressed. Now, today's topic is uh, something that we really don't think a whole lot about, but we're all riding around on them. That's right. That's our tires. That's right. Tires are very important. So what are we going to be doing today? Because you told me at the start of the program that uh, we were going to get a folk, uh, folks' car back to as close to dealership specs as it could possibly be. Is that correct? That's right. Here at Precision, we have a Hunter balancer, and it's actually a road force balancer, and it actually uh, simulates the road. And so it doesn't just balance the tires. It actually has a uh, extra part on the machine that actually simulates a road and it ensures that the tires are round and it uh, simulates that road so it's more of a um, real life conditions when it balances the tires and when you buy a new car uh, they they come this way and okay. so uh, that's why it feels so perfect when you drive, so good. drive it off the lot <laughs> that's right it feels so good you know in a normal tire balancer will run three thousand uh, dollars uh, but you know a balancer a road force balancer you're gonna spend about twelve thousand dollars so you gotta be a lot more serious about getting the best ride to uh, buy the road force. Okay, well, we're going to find out a little bit more about that today. And I understand Andrew, back yeah, in the back. Andrew gonna Marin, uh, he's going to, he helps us with our tires. Okay. He's going to be helping us today. So we're going to meet Andrew here in just a moment, find out a little bit more about this. And of course, we encourage folks, if you've got questions, you can always call, uh, stop by. Uh, that's one of the great things about Precision Automotive and Transmission is this is truly a resource for people. It's one reason we love doing the show because I get tons and tons of comments. People say, people say to me, how do you know so much about cars? I don't. I know the guy <laughs> who does know a lot about cars. So. Well, we're all in this together. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head on back to the uh, shop here and meet Andrew and get started. You know the name to trust for quality automotive repair every day is Precision Automotive. And for major transmission repair or replacement, the only name to trust is Precision Automotive. From the latest diagnostic equipment to Precision's experienced transmission specialist, you can count on Precision Automotive for complete transmission repair. Now more than ever, you deserve Precision to extend the life of your vehicle. Precision Automotive, 2675 North Main, Paris. Well, we've moved back to the shop here at Precision Automotive and Transmission, and James has introduced me to Andrew, and welcome to the program, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Andrew, you are the tire guy when it comes to Precision Automotive and Transmission, and uh, tell me a little bit about what we're going to be doing. I'm assuming this tire is from this vehicle. Correct. We've got a 2002 Nissan Xterra here. The customers brought it in for a complaint of tire vibrations, so we've balanced the rest of the tires when we come to this last tire here, and we've got an issue with it. Um, we're going to conventional balance just to show you that the tire itself is actually in balance, okay. but it still has a, an issue past that. All right, so this is the kind of balance that you would find at pretty much any other shop when they say conventional balance, right? That's right. Uh, balancers have been around for a long time. We used to use bubble balancers, and then we went to electronic balancers, 
And, uh, and I've actually still got one of my old electronic balancers back in the back. Okay. But this newer one is the Road Force. And if you'll notice here, there's an extra drum right here that, spin, that comes and it actually applies pressure to the tire as it's balancing it. So what we're going to do is just do a conventional balance and okay. then we'll let the Road Force We'll do a road force next. So, so this drum would simulate the the weight of the car and the friction right. between the car and the roadway, and that's that's what really gives you a real world type situation, correct? Right. Okay, cool. So okay. we'll check that out in a moment. But first, this is the conventional balance. That's right? correct. All right. Let's let Andrew do his thing. I like the fact too that you got it up on a big screen here too. This is uh, nice and easy to see. I need big screens all through here. <laughs> the older I get, the bigger the screen. You and me both. Okay, as you can see, we have, it's, it's asking for no weights. It's showing the zero, 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 zero. It's perfect. So okay. that means this one's good as so, far uh, as the conventional balance sure, is concerned. Sure, you could actually have a situation where, you know, my car's vibrating and you take it to the shop and they say, your tires are perfect. They're perfect. Right. And, uh, and from a balancing standpoint, that would be correct. Now, could that lead to something else? And I'm just asking this and, and if, if someone goes in and they say, okay, I've got a vibration, they're feeling it through the steering wheel or they actually feel it within the vehicle and they get a conventional balance and the shop says, well, everything's perfect, it must be something else. Could that lead to chasing rabbits that aren't there? I mean, sure. looking at suspension and all kinds of other things, sure. which could those things add are a lot important. of cost. <laughs> those, yeah, yeah, those things are important. It definitely doesn't hurt to look at the suspension. But when you have a, a problem at the source, which is the tire, right. it's gonna be harder on sus suspension parts. So if, you're, if you've got a tire that's bouncing, it's going to be harder on your wheel bearings, harder on your idle arms, pivot arms, ball joints, the whole front end. Uh, what I want to do now is let's switch the machine to the away from conventional to the road force. You'll notice up there on the wheel, it just shows the arm on the wheel. So now when Andrew right. starts it, it's going to be a different so one. This drum is going to come forward yes. and put pressure on, on the actual tire. That's right. Okay. That all kind of happens under the hood there. Yeah, it so all we can see it illustrated up here on our screen. Right. And it, what it's doing right now is it's checking, it's uh, putting a lot of pressure on the tire and it's checking it for any variations trying to simulate the road. It takes a lot, it takes twice as long to do the road as the conventional balance. I see. Well, what's neat about this is it's, it's okay. accurate every time too, because I mean, right. it all does it within itself. There. That's right. If you'll notice, the first thing it did, it popped up the zero, 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 showing the tire is still balanced correctly. But it says excessive road force variation detected in wheel assembly. Press, measure, rim, run out to find source of problem. So now what we do is it's, it's measured the outside of the wheel. Okay. And it is determined that it is not round. Even though it's perfectly balanced, it's not round. And so what it, we're going to do now is we've got to decide if this is a wheel problem or a tire problem. Well, so, now let me ask you a question. When you say that it's it's not round, is could it have come that way? Is that a manufacturing defect that's just inherent in the tire? Or? Sure. No, no circle is perfect. Okay. Uh, your wheel is round. Your tires are round, and neither one of them are perfect. Right. So it'd be real easy, and we'll talk about it a little bit later. Um, but when you actually mount the wheel up, if the high part of the wheel and the high part of the tire just happen to get lined up together, you're gonna to have a high spot. And that could be what's happened here. Um, so what our measurement here tells us is that the tire actually has a high spot, correct? Or tire or wheel. It or could tire be or wheel. Tire okay. or wheel, either so one. We don't so what know. Andrew's doing now is the machine has the ability to check the wheel. And okay. that's great because instead of having to pull the wheel off the rim and grab out a dial indicator and take 20 minutes to do it, in a matter of a minute or less, he's gonna have this wheel checked. Okay. All right, OEM matching procedure will bring assembly within limit. What that tells us is, is that the rim is actually good. Okay. That, that's it, you'll see the tire marginal rim pass. And so. Oh, okay, yeah, I see okay. that. Okay, so uh, now this machine is gonna tell us, if you'll notice the little man up there, the little hand with the chalk thing. Right. It's gonna, what it, it wants us to do now is mark uh, the wheel and tire. And so what they're wanting to do is, is they're wanting to take the high spot of the wheel and the high spot of the tire and offset them. 
You'll notice uh, Andrew is marking the tire where the machine is telling us to. Right now at 12 o'clock, he's marking that. So it adjusts the tire to the actual spot, and then he just puts the mark there. He puts the mark on okay, it. Okay, cool. And now he's going to hit the, hit the start button again, and now he's going to mark his wheel. And uh, So there's really no, no guesswork. The machine takes care of it yes, all for you. You just have to physically just put the marks so on it. So actually, this tire is going to be rotated 180 degrees. So it was, that's what was causing our problem. Then. That's the right. And wow. what's cool about it is now what we'll have to do is uh, we're gonna, we'll get Andrew to break this, pull this tire off the balancer, mm -hmm. and it's going to go back to the tire machine. We're going to break it down, and then we're going to move the tire on the wheel. We'll air it back up, and then we'll retest it. Okay, cool. Well, let's let Andrew do his thing. Now, let me ask you this. How often do you see a problem like this? I mean, it, it, we're... I would say one out of every 20 tires. Really? Yeah, it's pretty common. Um, now, is, it, is this pretty severe for it to be this far off as far as the, the 180 degrees? Or is that just, just varies? I, it varies. Okay. While Andrew is doing that, uh, I'm going to grab a tire and I'll come back and I'll, I'll show you something right quick. Okay. While Andrew is working on that, I want to show you this is a brand new tire. This is one that you just grabbed right off the, right off off the, the tire rack back there. If you'll notice, it's got this little yellow dot here. Okay. And that yellow dot is always supposed to be lined up on the valve stem. Okay. And you look over the tire for red dots also. And uh, if there's ever a red dot, the red dot supersedes the yellow dot. Now, is and that something that's put on there by the manufacturer? Yes. Yes. The, uh, tire manufacturer installs that on the tire trying to help you get the best start mm. at balancing and getting your tires uh, so so the fact that the dots are there is is that indication that the manufacturer knows that knows something about the tire they know on this particular tire that that's the like the light spot of the tire the, the and they have some type of a computer or sure, something that has sure. told them that yes. okay All right. no tire is perfect right and so on this particular one this is uh, the yellow dot you, means that it's a little light there. If you have a red dot though, the red dot usually means the tire's a little thicker in that area. Oh, okay. And, uh, huh. but anyway. Well, that's something but, to look for. Uh, yeah, there's yellow dots, red dots, and then there's actually things on the wheels also that help you line up the tires and the wheels. You got the valve stem, and then like on steel wheels, there's a, a dimple on steel wheels. Okay. You have to really look close, but there's a dimple on steel wheels to help you line the dots up with the, uh, the wheel correctly. And most tires just get thrown on and balanced and out the door. And right. So, so you, you can tell real quickly if uh, whoever you're getting your tires done with <laughs> doesn't know what they're doing because if they're not lining things yeah, up, then Yeah, if the yellow and red dot are not lined up. <laughs> it's obvious that they're not uh, paying much yeah, and attention. And you're not going to be getting the best ride. Right. So. Cool. And your tires are an investment uh, that right. will keep paying back dividends the more you take care of them. I mean, that, tires, that's tires. one of the things that my dad has always said, take good care of your tires. Oh, yeah. And tires now, I mean, used to we bought tires, we sold them for $50, and now a cheap tire is 80, 90, or $100. So, Absolutely. you know, it's nothing to spend 200 on a tire. And so the balance of your tire, you know, you want those things to last yeah. and be safe. And so. Well, you get into some of these big truck tires, uh, four wheel drives and things like that, you can have $1,000 in tires oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Easy. I, I know I've had, I used to have a, an Xterra similar to the one that's here in the shop. And I remember I always dreaded buying tires because <laughs> it gets expensive. Well, this is, these are some Bridgestones here. These are some really nice tires. We didn't actually sell these tires, but that's a very good tire. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, and I know this is not really something that we're going on to right now, but how much has the technology of this improved? Because now it seems like you guys can break down a tire and do a tire change in nothing flat. I mean, it used to be, I remember seeing the guys wrestling with the wrenches and things mm -hmm. like that. Now it's all so nice and easy for them to do. Uh, it, it really has improved it a lot. Yeah, it? I think maybe the equipment's better. You notice all the attachments on this. What Andrew's going to do now is he's going to rotate this mark that the machine said this is where it wanted the tire mark, and the machine also said that it wanted the wheel marked here. 
Okay. So he has dismounted this tire. Right. So now what he is going to do, we can just grab this tire and we can, Andrew help me here, and we'll just twist it around. We're going to twist this around until they line up. So basically what we've got, we've got a line on the tire that's showing me that this is the high spot of the tire. Right. So this is the highest part of the tire, yet this is the lowest part of the wheel. Exactly. So that they'll balance out. So it's going to offset. So the highest part of the tire on the highest part of the wheel. Cool. As it was before. Right. So they're so offsetting each other. So, so now, now we're going to air this baby back up. And that's really something that only the road force balancer can tell you as far right. as the, you, the you high know, spots. Back in the old days, uh, I know guys would just um, turn them and just see what happened. You know, just kind of. <laughs> but nobody really wanted to do that because that's a lot of work and you might right. yield no result. And right. you really have and no you way. put it back on there. You have no way of knowing because it keeps balancing perfect. Right. Showing that you, you know. Until you the layer, customer gets it out on the road. And you might even you know. make the vibration work. You know, out, but with this, we're, we're ensured that we're going to get it fixed the first time. Cool. You know the name to trust for quality automotive repair every day is Precision Automotive. And for major transmission repair or replacement, the only name to trust is Precision Automotive. From the latest diagnostic equipment to Precision's experienced transmission specialist, you can count on Precision Automotive for complete transmission repair. Now more than ever, you deserve Precision to extend the life of your vehicle. Precision Automotive, 2675 North Main, Paris. It's always about getting a more cost-effective and more efficient experience for the customer. Right. And you guys continue to not only invest in education, but to invest in the latest tools that mm -hmm. uh, make all of that possible. Right. You know, a conventional balance runs about $30 for four wheels. Okay. The road force balance runs $59, so we can just say $60. So you spend an extra $30, but I think it's worth it when you look at your safety, how long your tires last, and, uh, and then, like we talked about earlier, if you're driving down the road and your shocks and your front end components are having to absorb this vibration every mile down the road, you're going to have parts wear out quicker. Yeah, I mean, it literally shakes your car apart. It really shakes your car apart. So. Wow. I know I've, that's one of the things that I've experienced before, too, with vehicles that uh, if you don't get that taken care of and get that, that out of balance or that vibration taken care of, you're mm -hmm. going to see problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think you can live with it, but it just gets worse and worse, and then it starts to cost you real money. One of the things we see a lot of when customers come in and they're complaining about a, a vibration or whatever is mud. You know, we all go down dirt, muddy roads. Right. But as the mud and dirt builds up on the inside of your wheels, um, it causes an imbalance. You know, just uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of weights and just show you kind okay. of what it, how little it takes to fill a. Okay. A this is a half ounce weight right here. Okay. And this is a three quarter. And you can start feeling a vibration in your car at just a half of an ounce. I mean, that's nothing. That's nothing. I mean, I, I'm holding that right, right there. I mean, that, you can feel the weight in your hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that, I mean, that's that's it's barely high. there. I mean, that weighs, my watch weighs more than that <laughs> on my wrist. So, wow. That's a half an ounce. And that, and what you're talking about is like a little bit of mud that would get caked up or get right. put up into the wheel or? On, usually on the back side. On the back side. Yeah. So in these gaps and areas back right. and under here. And I've had them come in with them packed on the, you know, even on the visible when you walk outside, you just know right off the bat. You got um, mud on there. You got mud, yeah. yeah. But well, a lot of mud. see, there's a lot of spaces to get yeah, stuff Yeah, there's in. a lot of spaces for mud to get put in there. All right, Andrew's got the, uh, the tire uh, mounted back up. We rotated it. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is put it back on there and do another road force. Uh, again, we've gone beyond the conventional. We're going to do another road force uh, balance, and it should come out right this time. That's correct. Okay. What we'll have to do here first, we'll do the road force. Okay. It has no weights on it, so it's it's going to the balance we had before we've lost. Right. Because you have to knock the weights off to not harm the equipment. So how many uh, balances do you think you guys do in a month? Wow. Hard to say. Hard to say. <laughs> I can already look at the tire and just see that it's it's much better. Wow. Okay. The other thing about it is is that and this is something that um, is important. Okay. Is is that 
the, the weights that it took before when it was perfectly balanced, but we had the tire problem, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's gonna take less weights now. Because it had to compensate. When we rotated the tire on the wheel, we made it a more balanced unit without weights. Right. So it's gonna take fewer weights. It's all, less weights is always better. Right. So, um, you know, where it may have taken a three quarter inch or three quarter weight here, it may take only the half ounce. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Right, for, this, for this time. So how does Andrew determine at this point, based off this information, what, what size weight we need to put back on. Okay, here. it's calling for on the right side 2.25, which is not uncommon for that big of a tire. And then on the other, what was it asking for, 75? Three quarter. Three quarter. So that's this one right here. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, if you'll notice, it's zeroed out again. Okay. But we don't have the error code saying that there's a road force variation problem. Oh, so okay. the fact that it let us balance uh, normally before you could even balance it, it's gonna come up with that error message that says you've got a problem. Okay. So for all practical purposes, everything is a-okay with this one? True. Fantastic. And you can just look down there at the bottom of the wheel and just see how true it is where the, at first, it had a little bit of a, just a little bit of shake. Yeah, I see what you're saying because we actually are looking at it spinning right here and you can see the gap in the tire. There's like no variation. It's not moving right. or going up and down at all. Right, very smooth. Very smooth. Right. Wow. Where before we had, a, I could. A little bit of a bounce, yeah. yeah. After you've done the road force for a while, you, you kind of look down there and kind of start picking up on when it's going to. Sometimes it'll surprise us one that we think is going to fail. Right. Will pass, but. Now, you were telling me earlier that when you actually saw this uh, machine demonstrated uh, before you show, yeah, that they were actually balancing a block, of, a block wood. of wood. They had a block of wood, more like a piece of firewood, and they were spinning that piece of firewood, and they had it balanced perfect. <laughs> but that wouldn't make a very good tire. That, that would ride very smooth. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. But it just goes to prove that no matter what the, dimension, you know, what the variation is, that with this machine you can actually get it balanced. That's right. You can balance a block of wood. Okay. Uh, but is it round? This little device here, they've intentionally drilled the hole off center. Okay. So that makes this piece very uh, out of round. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can tell that's not. <laughs> that's nice and out of round. But if you'll notice my hand, when I do it, my hand is, is steady. Okay. And yeah, it's, it's not it's, shaking. Oh, no. It's very smooth. And see how long? And that thing is just going. It's balanced. Right. Now this wouldn't be a good ride for your car, but it is very balanced, okay? okay. But it's still going. But I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna pull this weight out. This weight is what is balancing this assembly. Okay. Now you hold the weight for me. Okay. We wanna, you need to see my hand and see how it, five wow. turns and it stopped. So, and you know, And that's translating all the way up your oh, arm. All the way up my arm, you see me, yeah, just, so if that was like shocks and suspension and <laughs> fenders and everything, that all starts shaking apart at this point. That, but then, that is right. That's right. Wow. And, and think about it too. See how long it, while well before it, uh, how long that it just ran? I mean, that's gas mileage. Right. Exactly. You know, right. That makes your, mileage, your car so. much less efficient, uh, obviously, if it's out of balance. Take me a while to get this weight back in there. It fits in there very tightly. There, there we you go. go. You get the weight back in there, smooth. None Even, of the vibration. But that wouldn't be a good ride. No. No, that would so. that you'd spill your drink if you were going down the road. Your Pepsi would be all over you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What we were trying to show you today is that just because they're balanced doesn't mean you're going to get a good ride. Uh, you want it round and you want it balanced. And uh, I know that uh, we'd love to help you. So. Well, I tell you what, this is just a, a small tip of the iceberg of the great kind of service and the technology that you're going to find here at Precision Automotive and Transmission. Uh, you know, this is just. Like I said, always something impressive, always something to learn. And this is just part of the, the, you know, just array of equipment and the latest technology that you guys have here. And we're always thankful that you, you know, let us kind of peek oh, behind yeah. the curtain a little bit. I mean, not everybody gets to come back into the shop and check out some of the things that we get to check mm -hmm. out on the program here. I know I get tons of comments. People oh, say, yeah. hey, I sat there and I watched that show. I learned some things. <laughs> and that's the whole point. We want yeah. you to learn some things so you're better armed as far as a consumer is concerned. Mm -hmm. Uh, to go out there and make a discerning decision about where you're going to spend your automotive repair dollars. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you're getting the very best uh, value for your money and you can do none better than precision automotive and transmission. 
Andrew did a great job today. We mm -hmm. appreciate him I for appreciate helping him. us out. And I'm amazed at how many people watch the show. I mean, I go through, I drive through Winda. Hey, I saw you on TV. I mean, it's all <laughs> over town. So there's lots of people that watch the show. We appreciate you watching the show. We try to pick out things that would be interesting to you and try not to bore you. Things that will also benefit you and actually help you have a better car. Well, you know, and that brings up a great point. If you've got a question or, or if you've got a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. uh, stop by the shop here. Or if you'd like to see us cover a topic sometime, I think yeah. that would be something that we would certainly yeah. welcome. Uh, we, we've sort of run the gamut all over the place, mm -hmm. but there's always something out there that people are going, boy, I wish I knew more about this, or boy, I really felt like I got uh, uh, taken at that last shop that I went to because I spent a lot of money and I still got the problem. Maybe you need some questions answered. So uh, let us know. We'd love to, love yeah. to take your suggestions. Yeah. Well, James, thanks again for thank being you. on the program, as Appreciate always. You. And thank you for being a part here on the Auto Digest.